I'm sorry, I am not impressed. Back on my bullshit again. I'm having way too much fun. I'm in a section with 7k bosses around me. I swear I can't. Hey guys, what is going on? Richie here, and today I'm gonna bring you guys a video that was suggested. Um, and it's going to be the software I use to edit and um, edit intros. Um, so the first thing that we are going to go and do is the thing I use to record my computer. Uh, this causes no lag. Uh, as you see here, it's action. Um, you do have to pay for it, though. Um, you could get the trial, but I have a serial number. Um, I'm not going to give that out, though. Sorry, but uh, this is what I use to record. It doesn't, record my, it doesn't really uh, have much lag when you're recording. Um, a little, not really, not at all, maybe a slight bit, um, it's really good for computers that aren't that good, uh, because, uh, you might not get as much FPS at first, so I definitely suggest that if you could pay for it, because it is definitely better than OBS in the early stages if you don't have the money. Okay, so the second thing I'm going to go over is what I use to record my videos. And what I use to record my videos is Sony Vegas Pro, uh, 13. Um, the Sony Vegas Pro is money and it does cost um a certain amount of money i'm not really sure how much it's it's a lot of money i'm pretty sure um but i just got a cracked version um that will be in the description below um it's not my crack i'm not exactly sure who made it but it is a crack it works um the only problem with it so this is sony vegas actually real quick uh this is what it looks like um so we'll close out of that uh the only problem with the crack is that you can't have like mcafee because it'll delete the actual crack but it's all it's all, um, or like any antivirus I think will delete it, um, so I just have, I just got rid of McAfee, and it's not a, um, it's not a, uh, virus or anything, so it's gonna be this pack folder, it'll be a media file link, I'll send, um, I'll give you, and first thing you wanna do is click this, right here, and uh, you wanna run it, set it all up, and don't open it all, uh, just press this, and you're gonna press this, and press patch, and then you're gonna just sit there for like five seconds, and then you're gonna you can close it out and you can open up Sony Vegas and it'll be just as good as the um, the real one. It pretty much is the real one. I think True Spoon might have made this. I'm not exactly sure, um, but that is what I use to edit my videos. Okay, guys. So what I use to record console gameplay is the Elgato Game Capture. Um, this is the later version of the uh, interface, I guess you'd call it. I like this one better. Uh, I think it runs a little bit smoother than the older one because um, the one thing with the Elgato game capture is if you don't have a really good computer, you cannot open up anything else. If I'm recording and I open up Google, um, it will just really glitch out the video. Um, so that's the one downfall of having the Elgato. That I, don't, I don't know if it's only for me, but it puts puts like a bunch of like the I think the disc all the way up. I don't know. It's probably crappy, but I'm getting a new computer soon, so I won't have to worry about that. But this is the uh what i use to record consoles with okay so uh what i use to edit um templates i don't know if you guys know i can't make templates i'm not good with it um what you have to use is after effects and cinema 4d um i'll have an after effects uh download uh, i mean a cinema 4d download um i don't have an after effects one i sort of just use the trial uh you can get with the adobe creator so uh this file is going to be this and you're just going to want to run this um, I actually have to do it. Uh, one thing I want to talk about is, um, that right there is it, but it won't always open, so you sort of just gotta redo the app. This is like the application, but you'll have to like re-download it sometimes, it's weird. But, um, that will be in the description. But this is, uh, this is Cinema 4D, and, um, it's really tricky to use. I have no clue. What I do is use templates. I would check out Push to Insanity. He makes really good tutorials, uh, with really nice templates, um, on it. So, it's downloaded now, um, so what I do is, like, say for example, the template of the giveaway winner, um, you just click template, and um, it would load up like this, um, you're going to want to click on this, and just find where it is, and then here you're just going to put whatever the kid's name is, or whatever you want it to say, and here it's going to say active, might as well do it now. I'm probably going to do it anyway. Um, it does take a little while, though, to um, download. Or not download, like, uh, pretty tricky with the whole, like, uh, I'm trying to type this in and not talk at the same time. Um, with the whole uh, render, I guess you want to call it, a little bit tricky. Uh, we're going to keep this smaller so I can see what his name is. Um... It is a little bit tricky, and then you just click off, and it'll uh, go on, but 
those do not look like the same fonts. Oh, yeah, I gotta change the fonts and everything, but um, I'll show you guys how it looks uh, when you start to download it and how to download it. Okay, guys, so I have it now. Um, you can always check it. You go like this, and uh, this is what it's gonna look like. Um, there's no music or anything. This is just the pure um, action, I guess you want to say. That's what it's gonna look like. Um, so what you're gonna want to do is you're then gonna want to do to go to the save and the output. I like to put it 1920 by 1080, and that is pretty much high def HD 1080. Um, and then you want to make sure it's from all frames. You want all frames that it's going to want to record. Um, okay, with this part, you normally just would like to go here and make a folder. And let's just put give away intro. Um, and that's just pretty much where we're going to save it to and all the pictures are going to go. So we're going to go here, we're going to go to desktop, and we're going to go to the folder I just made. And we're going to save it as just intro. Um, so we give it something to name, and PNG is fine, um, and then that's all you want to do, and then you want to exit out of that, and once it's all good, you just press this middle one, and it will start to render, sometimes there's going to be a textual error, um, I'm not really exactly sure what that means, but it comes out fine anyway, um, so it downloads, it takes a, a decent amount of time, all depending on what it looks like, and how fast your computer is, uh, this one's actually pretty fast, uh, some of them are way longer than others, um, but I'll get back when it's done. Okay guys, so now I have, uh... Adobe After Effects open. Um, I do have the trial. It works fine. Um, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do once I don't have the trial. I guess maybe I'll just make another email and uh, get another trial, I guess, maybe. Um, but actually, we don't want this to be open right now. We actually would like to go into the template um, right here. Template, whatever the hell you want to call it. And we're going to go down and we're going to go to template AE. And that is going to be the After Effects part. Um, stands for AE After Effects, obviously. Uh, this is very, very, very confusing. I have zero clue how to use this. Um, once again, I just use the um, template that is given. Um, so what you're going to want to do is, first off, you're going to want to go um, to all the things on the side here, and you're going to want to replace all of them. So you're going to replace footage. See the trial thing pops up now and then. Um, okay, so we're just going to continue. Okay, so we're going to do this, and we're going to replace footage. File. And... I save this on the desktop, um, so it's going to be this, and we're going to press, you press on the first one, and you make sure you have PNG sequencing, and then you press import, and it'll import it all, and um, as you can see right there, that's his, um, and then the sword, we're just going to, the sword, what the fuck, song, we're just going to, going to, um, replace as well, so you just want to go into the template, wherever you have that. And just replace the song to make sure that's going to be there. Um, it's the best thing to do. Um, and we could also um, replace whatever. You could place what. I would replace whatever is in the folder. Um, so whatever is in that folder, I suggest replacing um, just to make sure. Um, okay, so now everything is done. Um, it's really hard to watch it, but um, it's going to be really laggy. We could sort of try and see what happens. Um, sometimes the music plays, sometimes it doesn't. My computer's not really good enough, so. Um. Okay, so once you have everything done, you're going to go to Composition, and then Add to Render Queue, and then you are going to go to, um, make sure you have the, whatever the name of it is, and you're just going to set it to wherever you want it to be set to. Um, so I'm going to have it go to the uh, desktop, and we're just going to put Final. And yes, we're going to replace it, and it's just going to render out as soon as we press render. Um, so this goes by pretty fast, but I'm going to speed it up, and I'll uh, see you guys when it's done. Okay, so uh, now that it's done, we're just going to make sure it's all good um, and make sure there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, so yeah, there is nothing wrong with it, so uh, that's all good to go. And that is how you edit the template. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy. 
Um, if you guys do want a template edited, I can most likely edit it. Um, I am going to charge though because it does take some time. Um, it's going to be about five, it's probably going to be five dollars uh, US, US if you do want me to edit a template. You just give me the link to the template. If there's a download, I will download it and edit it for you. Uh, you can just comment that down below. Um, but if you guys did find this video helpful, uh, please make sure to like and uh, thank you for suggesting it. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.